Okay, friends, today I have a shit ton of makeup. I have mostly all Essence stuff. This is my Ulta receipt and it's literally all like Essence. There's a couple things that I bought that were Essence. I bought a duo because I needed to restock. There's like one or two things of eyelashes in here, but we're gonna go through all of this today and we're gonna do a full face of Essence makeup. Most of the stuff is under, I think at least $15. I think the palette was $10 and everything else is under that. In the first little bag, we have this Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer Hydrating and Refreshing. So I thought this looked super cute. We have this Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. It's supposed to be transfer and waterproof. This is in the shade 20 Porcelain. It's vegan. No added parabens, silicones, microplastic particles. I have this Essence Lip Care Booster Lip Serum. Then I have this Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush and this is in the shade Shimmery Rose. This is big. Then we have the second bag. Hmm, I got two primers. I tried to not do duplicates because I obviously can't try it all if I get duplicates of things. But I got the Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer, Hydrating and Smooth Base with Watermelon and Niacinamide. Again, no microplastic particles, mineral oils, parabens, silicones, PEGs. I still don't know what that is. This looks, I don't know, it looks nice. It looks refreshing. Then I got, well, I got three lipsticks, but I got two in one finish. And then this one's Hydra Matte. I think these are, what are these? These are Semi Matte, the white ones. So I got 01 Freaky and 10 Naughty. The sticker is not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and 401 Mauve Mint. I got a little pencil sharpener because the one that I have from e.l.f. sucks. So I'm hoping that one's better. I got two lip liners. They are in the shade. Trust me and my choice. I prefer pencil ones. I don't like the ones that you can sharpen that are like, they're kind of like plasticky. I don't know. I can at least deal with the ones that turn up, but I do prefer ones that I can really sharpen to a fine point. I have Prime Like Boss Eyeshadow Base, 24 Ever Ink Liner Intense Black. So this thing's itty bitty and it is felt tip. I thought it looked brush tip, but it's definitely a felt tip. I like both, so. And I got this little eyebrow pencil in blonde. It looks like it's gonna be too light, but we'll try it anyway. Then I did get what's left in the box. I have two makeup brushes. Both are like blending brushes. One's a little bit more fluffy. The other one is a little bit shorter. Then I did get one of the palettes. This is Welcome to Miami. I actually wanted, they were like $15 palettes. I think this is one of the $10 ones. The $15 palettes looked really nice, but they were sold out. We got a Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Brow Fixing Gel, extra strong. We have a mascara. I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. We got a little blending sponge and that's, everything. Box is empty. All right, now that I got everything unpackaged, which really it doesn't, didn't take too long with this. Normally with drugstore packaging, it's such a fucking pain in the ass, but I will say all the stuff that came from Essence was very easy. I did definitely smush one of my <laughs> lipsticks, but everything else was fine. So that was a me problem. I of course want to start with this primer. This is Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Base. It claims to be intensifying, long lasting, and no creasing, universal shades. So I'll do one side with it and one side without. All right, let's see what that gets us. This literally feels exactly like my YC collection one. I was kind of hoping, I really like more opaque eyeshadow bases. Oh shit, I only wanted to put it on one. I'm already failing. It's like just such a habit. So we're just gonna wipe this side off. So I am gonna be using both of the brushes that I bought. One of them is the Eye Blender brush. The other is Smoky Eyes brush. These colors are so pretty. It's more like a summer palette. It makes sense since it's the Miami palette, but I'm definitely feeling more fall since it is definitely fall here. I want some more like reds and oranges and stuff like that, but we will have to make this work somehow. I gotta think. I guess first I'm gonna go into this corner shade here. Really, I just decided I'm just gonna go all over my eye to kind of set the primer because it's really close to my skin tone anyway. I'm gonna go into this one that's got the little ice cream. These do have a lot of kick up, just as an FYI. I do feel like already you can see the difference between my eyes with and without the primer. It is just going on a little bit more pigmented on this side, a little bit smoother. I think the eye primer is doing its job. But these shadows are actually really pretty. I guess I'll go in with this dark purple here and I'm just kind of keeping that on the outer edge. This purple especially is showing up better on this side. And I'm gonna switch to the smaller brush. This other eye is just not doing well. The shadows aren't bad. They're just not as pigmented as some higher end shadows. So they're good, 
but you can see that the primer is really making quite a difference in this purple over here. So I'm gonna try to build up this purple on this side to at least try to make a match a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this orange on the top here. It's unusual for me, but it's pretty. All right, let's try this brow pencil that probably won't match. I wish this had a spoolie instead of a brush, but hey, it's like a couple bucks, so. And this is the part where I turn my light on and stick my head in my mirror, so. I can use my little sharpener. Mm, not bad. It's not awful. It's definitely a little bit more warm toned and lighter than my eyebrows normally are but the actual pencil is not too bad. I always use the Brow Wiz, but I prefer the tiny like little turn up ones for your eyebrows, but it is nice that you can sharpen this to get a really sharp point if you wanted to. So I like the formula. I just don't think the color is what I'm looking for. We will go in with the Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Brow Fixing Gel. It's got kind of a little stringy. This is gigantic also. I have very small brows and so I don't like giant thing bobs like this. Why can't I think of what this is called? Spoolie, there we go. <laughs> I don't like big, big spoolies like this because my brows are so small. There's one by NYX, it's like itty bitty that I just love and I don't think I have it on my desk at the moment, but that's like a perfect example. This is just too big. All right, we'll see how that dries down. I did already wet my sponge. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this sponge a lot because it's soft. I used to really like the Real Technique sponges. They're a little bit more firm than I actually like. I like these more like really soft sponges. So I think I'm gonna like this a lot. And we have here the Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. Now they did not have a concealer. So I'm gonna stick with the e.l.f. concealer just to keep it drugstore under $10. So I'll be using this concealer today. But I'm like tossed between these two <laughs> primers, which one I want to use. I think I'm gonna use the jelly primer because I think it's gonna be more tacky. Whereas I feel like the serum primer might be good for like natural skin with either a tin moisturizer or no makeup at all. So I think for the sake of this video, because I'm gonna be using this foundation, I'm gonna use this primer. So I'm gonna use it on half my face so that way I can see the difference in the foundation from one side to the other. I'm just waiting for this to, oh, I feel, oh, there we go. Oh, it smells good. It smells like fruity. Oh, it's cold. When it says hydrating and refreshing, it does actually feel very hydrating to the skin. Like it feels like um, skincare going on my face. So it is starting to get a little tacky already. Let us get some foundation. Oh, that is very liquidy. Huh, so it doesn't say what coverage it is. Silky lightweight texture with a smooth matte finish. Ooh, I hate matte. I had no idea. Mm, medium to high coverage for up to 16 hours. I probably won't like this now that I read that. So I am just gonna keep it on my cheeks. Oh, I don't like the smell of it. Tone down the redness in my nose and my cheeks. That's primarily what I really use um, foundation for anyway. I really don't like the smell of it. I'm gonna use my concealer. I do like the sponge though. It is definitely on the softer side. If you like more firm sponges, you might not like it, but if you do like soft sponges like me, then you'll like it. I just like how easy they are to manipulate. They soak up a little bit more product, which I actually like because I don't want a ton of excess product on my skin. All right, as far as matte foundations go, it's not too bad. I don't think it's making my skin look yucky. I feel like matte normally does because I have dry skin, so I tend to go for dewy foundations. Let's finish up underneath the eyes. I'm using my already dirty brush, but I am going into the lighter shade. It's gonna have some of that purple on there, which is fine, because I'm gonna use the purple anyway, but I'm just going under my eye here. Let's go in with eyeliner, and again, this is one of those things, I just, I gotta stare into my mirror, so I'm sorry if there's poor visibility. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. This is not, uh, it's like stiff. It's not flexible at all. Also, it's, there's like no pigment. Do you see that? What is going on? That is a, nope, that's a dud. I can't even make this work. I can't believe that. That wasn't even like savable, it was awful. Even just me wiping the, the powder off of my regular eyeliner, look how much darker it is than the other one. That was tragic. I was really excited for that too because it looked really thin, but zero flexibility and it's just, <laughs> there's no product on the damn thing. So that was disappointing. Next, let's do some mascara. So I will 
do one and then you'll have to look at the other. I probably should have done it before eyeliner so you could see a little bit better, but I haven't. Wow, this wand is huge. I've never seen a wand this big. It looks like a caterpillar. Oh my God, it's gigantic. I actually really like this. I'm not sure if you guys can tell because I know that the eyeliner makes it a little bit harder to see, but this mascara is really good. And I've only done one coat so far. Man, it does a great job like separating the eyelashes, but giving them volume and length. I like volume without it being clumpy, which is hard to do. And this is doing it for me. I'm really impressed. So we went from one thing that I thought was absolutely trash to something that's really, really good. You'd think having like this gigantic wand would be hard, but it's actually not too bad. I'm starting to like the foundation less and less though. I think if you like matte foundations, you should probably give it a try. I mean, it's cheap anyway, but for me having dry skin, I just feel like it's making my skin look a little bit more dry, showing a little bit more texture than I otherwise would and like wrinkles and stuff like that. Of course, I got fucking mascara all over myself like usual. This is a winner for me. I'll just go in with this blush. Oh, we got a lot of kick up. Yep, lots of powder there. Ooh, I like that. It is very um, shimmery, like you can see that glow. If you like completely matte blushes, you might wanna stay away from this, but if you're okay with a little bit of shimmer, which I am, I used to hate it in blushes, but I actually really like it lately. It's kind of like bringing a highlighter and blush together. I'm here for it. I guess I don't need a highlighter like I thought I was gonna. The color's subtle, but it is cute. The only thing, I actually did try this prior to this video because I went through the box to make sure that I had everything, but this Essence Lip Care Booster, it is, I only used it the one time. It's, it definitely smells like peach, which it is, it says it's 10% peach oil. But one thing that I can say is it does not get like gloppy. It's kind of like a gloss. I don't like applicators like this where it's like a brush applicator. I prefer more of a doe foot applicator, but it's really nice. Like I could literally just walk out like this. I think it highlights the color in my natural lip a lot. So I actually really like this. I'll probably be wearing it to work. I gotta find which color lipstick I bought is gonna match the best. Mm, this is the one. This smells really good. This is the Hydra Matte. And it smells like, kind of like sour watermelon. And let us line our lips. Oh my God, the smell of this is so good. All right, I think that was a pretty good combo actually. I didn't think this would work that great, but I like it. This does not feel like it's gonna dry down. It's definitely gonna be transferable. So just an FYI. I kind of like it because it's not super, super matte because my lip here always gets dry. You can see it even now. So I think that is everything. All right guys, this is the final look. Like I said at the beginning of this video, literally a full face of items under $10, which is super awesome. The majority of the products were very, very good. The only one that I really, really do not like is this eyeliner. It does not work. It doesn't do anything for you. Stay away from it, please. <laughs> the rest I think is good product. So I really like the lipsticks, lip liners were good, pencil sharpener was good. Shadows were good, but they're better with the primer. So just keep that in mind. I thought they were easy to blend. There's many different kinds of these city palettes so you can get tons of different color stories. This is just the one that I happened to pick because I liked it, I thought it was cute. I really loved this blush. This mascara is probably a new go-to favorite. I'm very excited to continue to use this. I probably will not keep using this foundation just because it is a matte formula, not because the foundation itself is awful. I can't speak to the waterproof or the long lasting stuff. Obviously, you know, this is a first impression. I just tried it on today, but it doesn't mesh with my skin type. If you like matte foundation though, you might want to give it a try. It's an affordable option. I don't think there's a huge difference in how the foundation went on with this primer. It might be a longevity thing though. So I wouldn't count this out yet. I did actually really like the texture. It feels like it's very gripping. So I could see it definitely helping with longevity and it smells great. So I liked this. I just don't have definitive proof of how much impact it will have to the longevity of your makeup just because this is a first impression. So. I like the peach stuff. I think it's gonna work very well. I'm hoping I can moisturize my lips. It doesn't, seems like no matter what I put on my lips, they're always dry, but I did like how it made my lips look. So I'll probably be wearing that to work. Oh, eyebrow stuff, mm, it dried down. It doesn't feel quite as stiff as some other ones, which is kind of nice, but I don't know like if you have very unruly eyebrows, how long it would hold them in place because of that, but it's all right for mine. I think my eyebrows are, are relatively tame. 
and the eyebrow pencil. It just wasn't my color. The more I sit here, the more I kind of like the color. So the actual formula though is not bad. And actually I really like these brushes. I can't remember if they had more brushes or not, but I really liked these. I would be willing to get more brushes from them if they have more on the website. I can't remember though. So that is everything. Full face, under $10, I'm really impressed. Let me know if you've used any products from Essence in the past or if you're currently using them. What's your favorite product? Is there any that you really don't like? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Other than that, guys, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.